Sam Altman is an entrepreneur, investor, programmer, and most importantly, the CEO of OpenAI, the company behind our go-to AI tool, ChatGPT. Recently, OpenAI launched GPT-40, which boasts mind-boggling features, and these updates consistently keep OpenAI at the top of the charts. Whenever Sam Altman appears at an event or on a podcast, people take his words seriously due to his dedication to ChatGPT and advancing AGI. Yes, his current and somewhat scary goal is to create an AGI that can think and work just like humans. We're talking about AI with human-like emotions, which means anger, diplomacy, sarcasm, everything. One of his big and notable predictions is on the timeline of achieving AGI. In an interview, he mentioned, I think we will have a computer that can pass the Turing test within a decade. I expect it will happen sooner. The Turing test, proposed by Alan Turing in 1950, is a measure of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to, or indistinguishable from, that of a human. Altman's prediction suggests that he expects significant strides in AI capabilities, potentially leading to AGI. On another event, when someone asked Altman about when he expected AGI, he said something like this. My, my serious question is, how soon do you predict that we'll get to artificial general intelligence? And what is OpenAI's role uh, in getting us there? I no longer think there will be a time where the world agrees, OK, this was the year we crossed the AGI threshold. I think the phrase has become so overloaded as a definition. I think there are people who would say we'll get there soon. I think there's like a lot of people who will say by 2040, like when we have these unbelievably capable systems, ah, it's not quite AGI yet, I can't do this one thing. So I think, I think the question is like, the only way I know how to like form the question well at this point is what is the range of time that we get to like capability X, Y, and Z. Um, but I think that the AGI, like I can't make myself do this because it's like, I, it's too much of like a deep in the OS at this point, but I, like, I try to not use the word AGI anymore. It's a total, like, I'm never gonna succeed at that. But it's like, you know, when can we, when can we do that new scientific discovery in some areas? When can, we, uh, when can we, like, add a lot of economic value? I don't know, I expect that, like, by the end of this decade, we have systems that create really significant economic value. Future of programmers are also in danger. Almost a year ago, Sam Altman wrote in a tweet, writing a really great prompt for a chatbot persona is an amazingly high leverage skill and an early example of programming in a little bit of natural language. Other than that, in the interview, when Lex Fridman asked about the future of programmers, Sam Altman said, On the programming front, looking out, into the future. How much programming do you think humans will be doing five, 10 years from now? A lot, but I think it'll be in a very different shape. Like, you know, maybe some people will program entirely in natural language. Entirely natural language. I mean, no one programs like writing bytecode. I mean, some people, no one programs the punch cards anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can find someone who does, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of angry comments No. No, yeah, there's very few. I've, I've been looking for people who program Fortran. It's hard to find. A popular YouTuber tweeted recently, the hottest programming language is English. To find out who tweeted this and why, check out our video on the card and in the description below. Now, it's somewhat concerning that Sam Altman is so concerned about the impact of artificial intelligence on the global jobs market that he's long campaigned for a universal basic income. Well, if you don't know, UBI is basically a policy proposal where the government provides every citizen with a regular unconditional sum of money, regardless of employment status. This idea is meant to ensure that everyone has enough to cover their basic needs, particularly in a future where AI and automation could significantly reduce the number of available jobs. So it means that we were right when we were thinking that AI will replace us in jobs. But guess what? Sam Altman now believes that UBI could be replaced by UBC. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has an interesting new idea to assist those facing financial challenges in the future, which he terms universal basic compute. He said, everybody gets like a slice of GPT-7's compute, he said on the All In podcast. Now that we see some of the ways, so 2016 was a very long time ago. Uh, you know, Now that we see some of the ways that AI is developing, I wonder if there's better things to do than the traditional conceptualization of UBI. 
Uh, like I wonder, I wonder if the future looks something like more like universal basic compute than universal basic income, and everybody gets like a slice of GPT seven's compute, and they can use it, they can resell it, they can donate it to somebody to use for cancer research. But but what you get is not dollars, but this like productivity slice. Yeah, you own like part of the productivity. This could mean that instead of providing a basic income, now he believes in providing basic computational resources. This approach could empower individuals by giving them access to powerful AI tools that they can use to create value in various ways. After watching this UBC video, users have gone mad. One user wrote, he said it as a joke, right? Another user wrote, there is so people in the world that don't know how to sign their own name. Does his individual know the world he live in? Well, what do you guys think of it? Is Sam Altman right here? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe.